Welcome back to Reading the Psalms. I'm Dan, and I'm going to read Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112 today. Psalm 119, starting in verse 105. None. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I have sworn and have confirmed it, that I will observe your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy word. Accept, I beseech thee, the free will offering of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet went I not astray from your precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever, even unto the end. In this part of Psalm 119, the writer continues over and over again to speak about his commitment to the word. He is sworn and confirmed with it. He's not straying away. He has taken it as his heritage to be something forever. He has inclined himself to perform the words forever. He makes offerings connected with it. He understands that it lights his path. And so the psalmist sees that, he, that the word is something that he needs as a part of himself forever. And these aren't just blind vows, but they're in this psalm connected to his understanding of the word's value. It's connected to his understanding that the word is going to help his life. It speaks about the reviving or the quickening power in the word, that by it he is steadfastly safe from all of his enemies. And probably the most famous line from this psalm, that it provides a well-lit path for his life. And that's a part of the commitment. Because isn't that what we want? Don't we want to see where we're going, to see clearly and understand, to help us to make wise choices and right choices? The world is often confusing, baffling with so many options and so many ideas. And when we give in and follow along with other people's ideas, we find out that we're in trouble. But by this word, we can know. And by committing ourselves to it, we will always know. Let's read it again. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and have confirmed it that I will observe your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Accept, I beseech thee, the free will offering of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, Yet went I not astray from your precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes forever, even unto the end. The very thing that is the rejoicing of our heart is that that we can perform with our heart forever and ever. God's word is truly glorious and a blessing. Well, thanks for listening in, and I hope to talk with you again soon.